Okay, well today my task is to make two oil lines uh, as quickly as I can in order to uh, get my full flow system uh, basically operational with my new location here of the uh, fuel filter. So what I'm gonna do is uh, first get on some rubber gloves and then I'm going to connect this hose as a loop back. Okay, first step is just to disconnect. And uh, this has to disconnect from the, oops. It has to disconnect from these uh, locations here where the full flow goes in and out. So I want to uh, disconnect the AN line without disconnecting the fitting so all right continuing on let's just see if uh if this turns the if this turns the fitting or the or just the an I just have to make sure that I can put on the, the loop back fitting before too much oil starts dripping down. See how much oil actually comes out of this. So then what I'm planning, actually there's not really even any oil coming out. So I probably don't even need to tighten this down, but my plan was basically to just, as a setup, and I need to make new fittings for this. So this is gonna go like about there it's going to come to about there so it's basically about it comes about two inches away from where you want the thing to screw in and an elbow of about three inches away from where it's going in the first place so let's measure it and i have a sharpie that i can uh, mark it off so it's going to go from here, up top, I'm gonna hold this in place. Um, let's see, the out comes out of the pump right here. So it needs to be about two inches from there. And actually, let me see which one is the in. And this thing, the in, is the one farther out here. So, to get to the in, <clears throat> the in is the one that's further outside. So, so that means I need to have the hose go from here up to about here. So it needs to be about right here. I think that'll give me enough to loop around the exhaust without hanging too low. Let me give it an extra centimeter just for the hell of it. Okay, so the process for doing this, because this uh, steel stuff, it just frays. It's super annoying if you mess that up. So this side has good tape around it. So the best way to do this is just with regular old duct tape 
and right here is where I want it to be, so I'm going to put this so that the duct tape is exactly in the middle of where I want to cut. And pull it nice and tight because you want to, you're trying to basically prevent the uh, steel from fraying. And then don't put too much on because the fitting, sometimes you, you start the fitting over the tape. Okay, so the best way that I've found to cut this So <clears throat> that is my final hose as opposed to this one here. This probably does have oil in it. So what I'm trying to do here now, hell I'll just sacrifice this. Well, I have got a paper towel, but it may need more than just that paper towel. But uh, basically what I need to do is take this off, which means I need two pretty big wrenches. Okay, so there's my fitting. And now I have to get this guy off here. Uh, that is good. I don't know if this is coming out or not. Here we go. Okay, this one, that looks pretty good. All right, so what I have to do is first you take this guy and you gotta fit this thing on it and you have to force, screw this on until you reach the, until the hose reaches the inside of this. Let's see if that's making it on there. Sometimes you have to do be a little creative in order to get this to uh, thread onto the braided section because you need some force. Okay. So, what you wind up with is the hose right there. One thing I want to do is, there appears to be a little piece of the wire there. But that shouldn't be in the way. Yeah, so that looks good. You take this, which already has some oil on it, so it should feed in there ni nicely. Let's see. Sorry about that. Like this guy. It should feed in there nicely. Hopefully. And the last 
tightening. All right, so you can see that that's still two thirds of a centimeter. That means that that went in there good and this fitting is great. So I have to do the other side now. I think I'm gonna do a fresh cut. There's just a little bit of a fray on this. And, uh, It is like when you buy your Christmas tree, you want a fresh cut. And there you go, there's a fresh cut right there. And uh, there's no fraying. That's gonna allow me to take this fitting here. This is the fitting where I'm gonna come out of the uh, oil pump. And uh, I have to uh, disconnect this from the old line first. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this and uh, I'll just complete the uh, I'll complete the two hoses and then I'll come back and uh, put them on. All right, I completed the first one. So I want to make sure that the, that the droop of both of them is the same, which is why I'm taking the first one and I'm just going to loosely run this one out of the oil pump, which is all right. The first line. So I had to use it on the uh, output because I made it too short. So it comes down here. Um, and misses the exhaust here by about an inch or so. Once I have both lines um, and they're fastened together a little bit, I think that uh, this won't wiggle um, the way it does now. Um, you know, it's okay, I, I could probably put some kind of a little bracket to, but uh, let's see how it, how it looks once I get the other one. So I'm gonna measure the other one and uh, use my Sharpie here to determine exactly how long. I wanna make it longer than uh, I had initially done uh, because as I said, I used the other I measured it for the fuel pump one and I couldn't use it on that because it was too uh, actually I'm gonna go ahead and do a fresh cut on the on one side so All right, back to measuring. So I, I put on the first fitting, and now I'm just gonna mark this as I still have the uh, full length of hose here. So when I look at this, pull this through. I want this to come up and get to, let's see this to come up here come to the outside of this and go to right about here and I don't want it to have any issues with the length so I think I do it about right here right here All right.
I could have used a 45. Oops, I could have used a 45 degree angle down instead of a full elbow. But you know, it comes down. That takes it away from the exhaust. Um, and then I just need it to connect up here, right to this one. Okay, so in the end, full flow, those are the two hoses. Again, the only thing I'm gonna do is, right here, the way these go is, I'm gonna put one of those loop, one of those um, things that hold it together like this here, and then another one that holds it together down below, and those two are gonna not touch the exhaust, and I think this is great. So, what a messy job. See, I have all this, a little bit of extra and certainly a lot of junk here. Ah, oh, sacrifice this towel for the sake of oil. And uh, all right, great.